Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to recall and apply the zero exponent and negative exponent rules to simplify expressions. Today we will cover two more properties or rules of exponents, the zero exponent rule and the negative exponent rule. Let's begin. Let's first take a look at the zero exponent rule. To help us understand this rule, we will take a look at the fraction 4 fourths. Now, what does this simplify to? We know any number divided by itself is 1. However, let's back up a second. How do we write this fraction using exponential notation? Well, any number raised to the first power is itself. We can rewrite 4 fourths as 4 to the first over 4 to the first. Now, let's simplify using the quotient rule. The quotient rule tells us that to simplify, we subtract the exponents. Simplified, we get 4 to the 0 power. Earlier, we also said this expression is equal to 1. Therefore, 4 to the 0 power is also equal to 1. Do you think this would be true with any base? You bet! Therefore, our 0 exponent rule tells us that any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Next, we will take a look at the negative exponent rule. To start, let's put up a number in exponential notation with a base of 10, say 10 to the second power. The value of this number is 10 times 10, or 100. What about 10 to the first power? 10 to the first power is just 10. We just learned that any number raised to the 0 power is 1, so 10 to the 0 power is 1 we start to see a pattern emerging. The value of our number is decreasing by a power of 10 each time. And we can see this easily by the placement of the decimal. The decimal place moves one place value to the left with each decrease in power of 10. So, if we decrease our power of 10 once more, the decimal place will move another spot to the left. This number is 1 tenth or 1 over 10 to the first power. Decrease the power and move our decimal to the left once again gives us 1 hundredth, or 1 over 10 to the second power. We can focus in on these negative exponents to see what is happening. You'll see that to simplify a negative exponent, we take the reciprocal and change the sign of the power. And remember, reciprocal just means that we switch the numerator and denominator. Use the properties of exponents to simplify each expression below. We can apply the zero exponent rule to the first monomial. We know that any number raised to the zeroth power is simply 1. For part b, we apply the negative exponent rule. This is the same as x to the negative eighth over 1. Taking the reciprocal, we get 1 over x to the negative eighth. Then, change the sign of the exponent, and we have 1 over x to the positive eighth. Finally, we apply the negative exponent rule again to part c. Taking the reciprocal, we get x to the negative second over 1, or just x to the negative second. Finally, change the sign of the power to get x to the positive second. Great job! Mm -hmm. 